Hello, and welcome to the fifth day of Christmas. That's the fifth episode of the Pokemon Christmas Nuzlocke. I'm your host, Super Saiyan Blue Lucario. Let's have a quick team recap. We have Queen Tina, the Nidorina at level 21, holding the Bright Powder with Poison Sting, Tackle, Scratch, and Double Kick. We have Lord Helix, the Omanyte at level 24, with Constrict, Withdraw, Bite, and Water Gun. We have Apollo, the Quilava, level 23, with Tackle, Quick Attack, Smokescreen, and Ember. We have Birdnado, the Pidgeotto, level 20, with Tackle, Sand Attack, Gust, and Quick Attack. Sean, the Flaffy, level 21, with Tackle, Thunder Wave, Thunder Shock, and Headbutt. And obviously the Egg for the moment, in place of Liv, the Bellsprout. As you can tell with the levels, I trained a little bit um, after the last recording. Just boosted some of the guys' levels there a little bit. And now, let's take on the final gym trainer and get ready to take on Whitney. I should probably have trained up a little more, not gonna lie. I don't want to be too overleveled, I want to keep it competitive and entertaining and stressful, pretty much, for me. Um, keep the air of drama about the Nuzlocke, because I don't want to... I want to keep the series moving forward at a high pace, but I don't want to um, be so overleveled that I just sweep everything. Despite the fact that I've just swept the um, Jigglypuff. I mean, I've only trained Queen Tina one level, so it's not that much. And the egg is still there. Um, it didn't quite hatch, it's not quite ready to hatch yet. Um, it might be after the gym, so hopefully we'll find out what's in the egg uh, soon. Either way, we have beaten her, and now it's time to take on Whitney. And you have the same spiel that you did before Golden Silver Battle, so let's go. Whitney, damn you fine girl, and you have three Pokemon. The Miltank might not even be her ace. Oh god. Alright, still a good amount of damage there. We'll be able to kill that on the next turn. Oh, Metronome, this is dangerous. This is dangerous. Iron Tail, that's powerful, but shouldn't do... Ooh, that was a crit, okay. Because that was 100 base power. So I'm going to use a potion here. I'm taking no risks on that one. Alright, you have double slap, missed. That's fine. Let's throw in another double kick. And Clefairy's defeated. Alright. One down. Who's next? Miltank's got to be the ace, surely. So, I'm assuming... Do oh, no. Miltank is next. Right, so... I'm going to try and be a bit smart about this. We're switching into Sean. Because we have Thunder Whip. You... Oh, no. So it begins. The attract. Come on. Come on, RNG. Land that Thunder Wave. Yes! Alright. We're good. That is huge right now. We're holding the Bright Powder as well. Just to give us that slight edge. Uh, trying to dodge um, any moves. And the Paralysis. If we can get the RNG and the Paralysis, we're good. We're... Oh, that did nothing. Okay, it's gone for Stomp. That did quite a bit of damage. That is quite concerning. Alright, another two double kicks and we'll be okay. Don't get a crit. Don't get... Oh, okay. Alright. Definitely need to heal up. And I bought some super potions uh, off screen. So, let's get that. I also got the radio card off screen as well. Just slap that in. Uh, it's probably not going to be used, but I just felt it needed to be done. Oh, that was a crit. That did far too much damage. That did 42. Yeah, that is going to kill. What the? And that was a low roll crit as well, because that was an even higher crit. It's not gone for rollout, though. Which is good. Finally, we get the miss because of the bright powder, thankfully. Double kick. And we get a crit of our own. Miltank is down. Miltank is down. Slightly stressful, but... We've got away with it. Okay, so who's the ace then? Clefable. Ooh. 
It doesn't have the fairy typing, but it has massive defenses, so this could be as dangerous as the mill tank. It's not going to have rollout or anything like that. Double slap. It's doing five damage a time. That's fine as long as it doesn't get that five hits each time. Even then it can only do 25 max. So we might be able to get out of this unscathed. One more hit and this thing's dead. It's not going to kill me on this. So that is fine. As long as she doesn't try to heal on this turn coming, we'll be okay. Come on. Yes! Alright, badge number three is ours, and Queen Tina getting the win. That was highly stressful. Oh my days. And she still cries after being beaten. Yeah, sorry. Now give me a gym badge. There we go. Got the plane badge. I wonder if that guy who's checking out Whitney from the window says anything to me on the way out. It'd be quite funny if he does, but... TM45, which I believe is going to be a trapped. Yep. Isn't it just perfect for a cutie like me? Eh. Alright, let's go. Um, you can be switched. I'm going to put Lord Helix up front. Because the next gym battle is Ghost. The only thing I have that would be type advantage is Bite on Lord Helix. So if we superpower Lord Helix and like get his levels up way high, we might be alright. We might even be able to do that gym battle uh, this episode. But for now, I'm close to hatching the egg, so... I'm going to finish hatching the egg while we're here. Might as well. I mean, if it becomes an addition to the team, it becomes an addition to the team. If not, then it's fine. I mean, it won't take too much out of my way. Ah, you don't say anything. And here. Are you going to give me the whale and pale? No, Leafstone. Leafstone is useful, especially for Liv. Because as long as Liv stays alive until the point of weeping, though, that's fantastic. I'm gonna keep. I'm not gonna evolve Liv by Leafstone straight away. I want some of the moves that Weeping Bell learns, because obviously Victory Bell doesn't learn anything naturally by level up. We have to use TMs for that. But yeah, we now have a Leafstone, so we can now get the final form of Liv, which is amazing. I was almost an iron about keeping Liv in the squad, but. If we can get a Victory Bell, that would be really cool. Don't have to search high and low for a Leaf Stone. Also, there's a few encounters I can get this episode as well. Potentially, uh, well, as long as I make good progress, there's north of Goldenrod, there's the um, National Park. There is Route 37, which is just north of where Sudo Rudo would be. And then there's Burn Tower, west of um, Ecritique, east of Ecritique. This is potentially a lot of encounters. I'm just going to speed up a little bit just to um, speed, just speed the process along a little. Just try and get the um, egg hatched as soon as we can. Because the last thing I want is... Um, this to take all episode. Ah, here we are. Okay, eggs about to hatch. What are we gonna get? What are we gonna get? And it is... Drumroll. Togepi. Slightly anticlimactic, but... I mean, what can you do? I'm gonna give you a nickname. What am I gonna call you? Um... I know. How about Lil Baba? It's a baby Pokemon, so... And you're also going to stay a Lil Baba. I'm quickly just going to heal up uh, following the gym escapades. And then Liv is going to rejoin the team. I did train Liv a little bit um, off-screen. Um, 
during the last episode. I also raised Kieran to level 20 as well, just to um, see about the stats, compare them with Lord Helix, and there's just no comparison. So Lil Baba is going in the PC, and we are going to retrieve Liv. Where is she? There she is. Level 20. I think she's going to evolve uh, in the next level, so... If I get occasion to train Liv, we'll be fine. As for right now, uh, yep, we should be good. So let's head north. Let's see. Um, do you? There should be potentially count out. No, because uh, th that guy uh, there sometimes gives you a static encounter in some of the other games. So I'm just wanting to check. Oh, melt it with a move. I wonder what that move's going to be. Like, is it going to be just called Melt or something like that? And there's a lot of trainers over here, so... Let's just fight our way through these. We should be okay. Picnic Kim sends out Vulpix. And you're going to be destroyed by Lord Helix. Like, Lord Helix has a great special attack. Especially for this point in the game, so it's going to be destructive. My one issue, it's special defense is really bad. It's not the best in the world. I am quite worried about that, especially because the special splits happened. Ghost isn't just physical. And the ghastly line has really high special attack. Morty's Gengar is now all of a sudden a lot more frightening than it was in Gold, Silver, and Crystal. Shadow Ball on that thing is going to terrify me if I don't get the levels up. I'm going to send in Apollo for this one. So I, de so I definitely can't just rely on Lord Helix because... He could get one shot by a Shadow Ball and all of a sudden I've got lots of underleveled things and I'm trying to deal with a Gengar. Or other Pokemon, what he may have. I, mean, I have no idea what his team's going to be. I mean, Whitney's got a few different ones, so Morty's probably going to have a few different ones. And that's who's a Curlier coming out now. Lord Helix should be okay. Bite should take care of this. Will it be physical? It's not super high level, it's only level 16, so it shouldn't kill me with confusion. But it is still a bit concerning. Um, ah, never mind, we've one shot it, that's fine. Logic, screw you, experience. No, I'm not going to lose for you and your girlfriend. Screw that. Alright, so next trainer. Let's go. So you've got you, I've got the two people at the top of this route, and then the guy who normally has the Venonat. Potentially one round the grass by there, so I'll be able to get my encounter and I'll load my training. And then we can move on. Obviously I've got the um, National Park stuff. I wonder if they're going to do the bug catching contest. Although... Might not, I mean, it's probably not the correct day for it, so I might as well just wander through the park and see what we can find. Okay, what gun, get rid of the Diglett, you are done. Not too much experience, I mean, it is a Diglett after all, so, ooh, Zubat, meh, you're not going to give me much experience either. Great, and you're level 10 as well, so even less. Okay, that is done. Let's go. Come on, let's keep moving. If we can make good pace, we should definitely reach... I mean, we'll definitely reach Ecritique, but... Um, it's about... I mean, if I have to do things in Ecritique before the gym, I might not be able to face the gym leader today. I hope I will. Um, oh, wow. <laughs> Ah, uh, this is the guy with all the Volt Orbs. Like level 2, level 6, level 10, level 14, level 18, something like that. But, yeah, so depending on what we have to do there, I mean, if the Burn Tower's still a thing, 
if there's something else entirely. Um, of course we have the kimono girls which we may have to uh, fight as well. Anyway we'll have lots of uh, opportunity for experience so. Level 25 Lord Helix is about to face another Vault Orb. That's level 10, that's fine. They're not going to have any electric type moves so. I mean if Spark's a thing it might have Spark but. Let's have a look. You have another Vault Orb at level 14. That's more likely to have an electric type move but again I don't see it likely. And oh we didn't want to show it this time. Ah, never mind. Screech, not going to do anything because we're going to kill it this turn and game over. Lord Helix marches on. Let's go. Let's battle you. And I don't even have a choice and just to... Wow, rude. Did I say you could walk here? Bitch, I walk where I want. And me and Lord Helix are about to swat you out of my way. Oh, a Rhyhorn. Oh. You poor, poor thing. Water gun. Now get out of my face, bitch. You're done. Lord Helix. Ooh, Taurus. We resist anything this Taurus might have. And we have pretty high defenses, so... You are not going to do anything, and that is... Love. I mean, we're 12 levels higher, so it's to be expected. But still. Goodbye, Taurus. Lord Helix moves on. Lots and lots of experience on that one. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, do you want to battle? No, you don't. Let's go over here and battle you. I think you're Arnie, and you're you're the guy with the venom out. I just remember this guy mostly because he reminds you about the bug catching contest, and on Gold and Silver tells you when swarms of Yanma are about. So he's a very useful phone number to have. But there's no point in getting phone numbers from these guys because they're mainly used for swarms and I'll have already faced my encounters by the time the swarms arrive so there's no real point. I mean I guess I can re-battle some trainers but they're few and far between um, on the phone calls to them and most of the other phone calls just they clog your game, they clog time up. Alright here we go, here's our encounter. What do we have in this one? It's a second chance at an Abra. I'm not going to hold my breath. I'm going to throw a ball. Might as well. I mean, if we can get an Abra, we can get an Abra, but... Okay. If you come with me, I'll give you a cup of tea. If you come with me, I'll give you a cup of tea. Oh! Triple jiggle. And he gets the teleport. Oh, we nearly had it that time. It's disappointing. Another route dead, but... It's not the end of the world. We got ourselves a TM. Neat. Uh, anything around it. You, what? Oh, you're a trainer battle. That's fine by me. Let's go. Pidgey. This is Lord Helix. What again? Because Pidgey's special defense is arse. And you're done. Uh, not much experience there. Ooh, Pidgeotto will get a lot more experience. That's much better for me. Water gun again. So 14, that's no, probably going to survive this. It does, just about. Tackle. Nothing. Nothing at all. Bite. Bye bye. Yes. Next, Lord Helix group to level 26. Should probably try and get him to level 30 before I take on Morty, but that means pretty much just solo running with an Omanite right now. I can think of worse things to do. I mean, if we're talking trying to beat a very scary prospect in Morty with his Gengar right now, I'm going to do this. 
Now, there's normally a lot of items in here, so I'm going to talk to everyone I can. Uh, you build uh, your deck. Oh, Pokemon trading card game. Haymaker deck. Hmm. You. You're going to give me the quick claw, aren't you? I'm fairly sure. Yep. Thought it was you. Okay. The Pokemon hold that. That's fine. And let's go. Uh, trainer battle there. So let's battle you. Bit of training while I'm here. I mean, why not? Da -da 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 -da. Beverly has an Eevee. Okay. Eevee can't do anything to Lord Helix. I mean, if it has Bite, it might do a bit of damage, but I mean, that's physical. And we have really good physical defense. You've got an Orange Berry, which is annoying. But we have Water Gun, which is going to finish you off. Uh, just over a week now till Christmas, so. Uh, Hope everyone's sufficiently excited now. I just, I'm really looking forward to the food so much. I'm going to eat like a king. I can't wait. Just all of the food, all of the food. Like the main, the main Christmas tea. I'm looking forward to, but just the other meals during the day as well, like the breakfast and things. Just to get you ready for everything. Just feels good. really can't wait and then casual sweets during the day like the selection boxes and anything else that might be thrown our way mince pies and all the little snacks I mean we really go for it in terms of food um, in our family and hey I can't say I blame us I mean it's an opportunity to treat ourselves uh, as a family so we make the most of it for absolute sake. Ooh, that is a Dawnstone. If I can find a male Ralts. Ooh, if I can find a male Ralts. There's also a prospect if if Snowrunt is in the game. If Snowrunt's in the game and I get a female Snowrunt, I could have a Frostlass. At which point I would evolve Arya into someone else. Maybe a backup fire or water type or backup electric type actually in case of uh, well, I mean I already have Sparky but then there's a potential of just raising the happiness and getting an Espeon or Umbreon which would be awesome so there's plenty of opportunity um, depending on what we go for Uh, you've got a Ralts. Lord Helix. Damn it, didn't mean to use withdraw. Another bite. Let's go. Boom. Lord Helix gain some experience. And they're sending a Cubo next. It's like they're feeding me the perfect Pokemon to destroy. Bye bye. Cubo was destroyed. <sighs> okay. There are other items, I'm fairly certain. There's one, for example. Which is round here. I haven't faced a wild encounter yet, I don't think. Got ourselves a sunstone. Yeah, I don't actually have a wild encounter in here yet. Quite surprised because there's normally a high encounter rate in this park, so. Let's get. Uh, have I battled you? Yes, I, oh, no, I haven't. You're just going to spout some rhetoric and poetry before we take each other on. You have two Pokemon, Schoolboy Jack. And you have a Ralts. Everyone seems to have a Ralts at the minute. Let's go bite. And say goodbye to Ralts. Who's next? 
Who else do you have? Do you have a Curlia? You have a Voltor. That is level 15. Tackle's not going to do anything at all. Come on. We got this. Oh. I know it sounds bad. I mean, obviously, all the meat and stuff like that. Christmas to look forward to. But one thing I'm looking forward to more than anything. The roast potatoes and the roast parsnips. I don't know why I just cannot get enough of them. Especially the parsnips. Oh, my days. I absolutely love roast parsnips. They are the epitome of just the veg that goes in a roast dinner. Roast parsnips. You cannot have a roast without them. I don't care what you say. Caterpie. Oh, I I don't have one. Let's use Constrict. Shouldn't kill it with Constrict. Definitely won't kill it with Constrict. So one more and then we can catch this one. Plus, it will only take two levels to evolve uh, fully. I mean, it's not going to get Confusion. Which is disappointing. But I mean, it's helpful to have more Pokemon as backups in case I get swept, so... And the less roots that I kill accidentally, the better. Alright, so we have a Caterpie now. I'm gonna call you... Vivian. I don't know why the name Vivian is in my head, but you're not, you are now a Vivian. Oh, I think I was thinking Vivalon, the um, Gen 6 um, bug type. The Gen 6 version of Caterpie, basically. But, oh well. I mean, it's an encounter. We got a Nemo. Not gonna complain. After we've had a couple of roots die because Abras keep teleporting. Speaking of Abras. Go, Lord Helix. You're not going to have confusion. You're also dead in one hit. Which is awesome. Abra again, that's fine. Uh, bye bye. Let's go, Lord Helix. Level 27 now. Alright, who's next? Who's next? It is... Ka okay, this is a little scarier. It's 12 levels below. But our special defense is awful. Uh, we should be okay. Please one shot. Yes, okay. If it survived that, I might have had some reason to be concerned. But, nah, we're good. We're good. I'm gonna switch you though. Let's put Apollo up front just to be on the safe side for a bit. What do you want? Thanks to my studies, I'm ready for any Pokemon. Are you though? Are you really? Mr. Schoolboy Allen. You have Glaceon. I want a Glaceon. And I'm sending out Apollo just in time. Ember. This is probably gonna live it though. It's got Fairly decent. Ooh. Yeah. It's seven levels below, but it's about. Ember, just finish it off. Question is, who's better, Glaceon or um, what's it called? Frostlass. That may be a question further down the line. TM. Oh, don't battle me. I want a TM. Hiker, Hiker Daniel sent Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. We are switching out. Uh, oh, Lord Helix is still weak. If I hard switch into that, that's... It's going to have to be lit. Yeah. Hard switching into Lord Helix would not have been fun. No, I've, I've got a heal as well. Like, if Sweet Powder misses, he is going to destroy me with Rock Throw. As he goes to Rock Throw again, 
hits. That is going to do big damage. Uh, that did so much damage, and that wasn't even a crit. Come on, there. I think we're surviving this. Locate, that shouldn't do much at all. It still does 10 damage. Sleep powder, though, coming in clutch. Oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Fine whip. Let's go. Why is that doing nothing? Why did Vine Whip do absolutely nothing to that thing? Okay, at least we got a crit this time. Okay, one more, one more. There we go. Oh, dear me. That had the potential for disaster. TM08. What's that? Flame ball. That's used to melt all the blocks of ice. So flame ball is replacing the TM for rock smash. Interesting. We're going to teach you Apollo. We'll give it Queen Tina. I don't want Apollo having moves like that where I have to sacrifice a spot. I mean, if it's going to be like rock smash... It's going to have really bad, like really low power. Um, it's going to have to be. Okay, we'll get rid of Poison Sting. Screw it. Yes, I know that means I have no stab moves right now on Queen Tina, but if we evolve her, we'll be fine. Black of Ice, let's use Flame Ball. Yeah, it's got the same animation as um, Rock Smash. Now, the reason we're heading this way is I'm fairly sure there is somewhere we can flame ball over here in Violet City. There we go. Which I'm assuming there's an item over here. Let's go, hopefully, here. Hyper Potion. No space left. Oh, it's the limited space in the bag again. Really? Uh, what am I going to use? Let's get rid of the X attack. Screw it. Get ourselves a Hyper Potion. That's going to come in handy. Ah, let's get cracking. We have about 15 minutes left, give or take, on the clock. So I'm not going to get the next gym badge, I don't think. Anything I can sell around here. Anything I can sell. Uh, oh, I can sell the Revive. I can't use them. Let's get rid of you. That's fine. Anything else? Maybe. No. It's all like status and healing items, pretty much, and evolution stones. So I'll deposit those stones when I get to Ecritique. That's right now. Nope. Move. There we go. Let's go. We have. I think we're. In... Yep, we're in Route 37 now. So this is a new potential encounter. Right, well, first of all, let's get any of these. What's there? Chesto berry. So these are berries, not apricorns. That's fine. Let's get you, which is an orange berry, but the pack is full. Uh, I mean, it only restores 10 HP, but I mean, I'm not going to use a smoke ball, really. Let's be honest. So let's get me a orange berry. And you are a roast berry. So that's going to heal burns. There's no fire type gyms, but maybe it'll be useful in some circumstances. Let's battle you, Eda. Okay, let's go. Alright, what do you have? This couple, Duff and Eda. Cloister. Uh, let's switch out. 100%. Sean, because the special defense is ass, and with it being part ice type, definitely not going to risk live in this battle. Thunder Shark should one shot because this has appalling special defense, and it does. And we get the crit as well, just for good measure. Apollo grew to level 24. Okay, Onyx. 
Wait. Did these guys seriously have a cloister and an onyx? Oh, the euphemisms. The euphemisms that this guy came with. Jesus. Really? I mean, I have a filthy mind anyway, but seriously. I couldn't have thought of... Yeah, they couldn't have made that one any more obvious if they tried. So another trainer battle here, and then we've got an encounter. Just trying to think what normally lies around here. I can't remember off the top of my head. I mean, there's probably like Pidgeotos, things like that, so that'll be dupes. Um, well, I mean, it doesn't matter. We'll soon find out anyway for ourselves. Oh, uh, no. Oh. Drowsy. And the hypnosis. It's a good thing that's got such low accuracy. It's only 6 Well, when I'm facing it. When I need it to hit, it's a pain. But Drowsy is defeated. That's good. You are dealt with. And Psychic Greg was defeated. Yes, it is pretty sad that you lost. But it's your own fault for challenging me. Alright. What are we going to face? What are we going to get? What's our encounter? Come on. Give me some of good. Give me some of good. Let's see. What do we have? Pidgey. That's dupes. That's fine. Not a problem. Let's get away from that. And let's go. Okay. Take two on the encounter. Ooh. Stantler. We got our Rudolph. Well, I mean, it's a female, so it'd have to be Vixen. Uh, Ember. That is a powerful normal type. I don't really use these things either. We got the burn as well. Ooh. I'm gonna have to start throwing ball. Oh. Smoke screen, lower its accuracy, let it whittle down a little more health, and then we'll start throwing balls. We should get this. This would be a pretty cool addition to the team as well. Alright, let's go. Um heavy ball it is quite a bulky pokemon so heavy ball should be all right for this so uh, come on no oh don't do this to me my only encounter that i've caught in ages has been a caterpie if it breaks out of this it's gonna die oh come on please please yes yes no it's dead it's going to die this turn. Oh, that is heartbreaking. I'd never really used a Stantler either, so that would have been a really interesting one to have on my team. That looks like May. That 100% looks like May. You're not going to battle me in the Pokemon Center, are you? Oh, you have something for me. Heart Scale. They're only giving Heart Scales if there's Move Tutors. Move Tutors could be uh, very useful. Let's get rid of the Cleanse Tag for the moment. Just deposit that. Uh, let's deposit some items as well. Uh, Leaf Stone, don't need that. Uh, Dawnstone, don't need that just yet. Sunstone. Uh, eh, nah, we should be alright for, for the time being. So, give me that heart scale. Because if I can find a good mood tutor, something that will really benefit my team, yeah, absolutely. Yep, yeah, mood tutors, there we go. That'll do me nicely. What do you want? And so, the latest version of Piplup OS. So, okay. Right, let's have a gander. Ah, we'll get the uh, encounter east of here. Oh, hold on, kid. There's been an avalanche on this route. Nobody was hurt, but Mahogany Town is inaccessible. Come back later once the way is clear. Oh, okay. That's... So I can't get an encounter there just yet. Six goons always pick up items. Here's the market. Uh, ooh, incense. Interesting. I'll have that. Uh, let's get a load of great balls as well. 
I need as many as I can for my encounters. Because I'm not running into the Stantler problem again. That is the Kimono Girls Dojo. We're going to come back to that. There's water. Small Pond is actually fed by a hot spring. Even during the winter like this, it won't freeze. Your Pokemon can surf across it to reach Tin Tower. Interesting. That is something I can come back to. Oh, hello. Excuse me, are you a trainer? I'm really in trouble here. My daughter's gone missing and I don't know where she could have gone off to. She's too young to raise Pokemon and I know she's in danger. If you find her, please bring her here to me. Oh, okay. So we have something to do by the Burn Tower. Please tell me that's not Sabrina. Oh, the great and powerful Trixie. Okay. Channel a Trixie. Has an Abra. Okay. Ember should be able to dominate this. Oh, I'm not special, isn't it? So it's probably going to live this. Yeah. But it only goes for Flash. It's an Abra. It can't learn the offensive moves. Not that Kadabra or Alakazam can, so. Leave that. You have a Kadabra, though. Um, now we're going to keep you out. Because physical attack should be able to do significant damage. Really? Attract? Okay, I wasn't expecting that. Fine, we still got rid of it. That's fine. Boom. Thank you. Next. Level 25 Apollo. Oh, God. No, 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 no. Uh... It's level 20 as well. Oh, God, no. Bite. And it hypnosis? Oh, jeez. Okay, this is scary. This is very scary. Alright, we've got the chest of it. Wake up. Ghost Psybeam as well. Not confusion. That's going to do so much damage. Ah, oh, that did over half and it wasn't a crit. Oh my god. I have a high potion. Where are my super potions? There they are. I've only got five of them though. Oh no, 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 no. This is disastrous. Psybeam again. Stop. There's not nothing I can do. Apollo might be able to eat this, and I might have just had to stick with Apollo for this. Oh my days. Alright, we'll definitely live another one of them, unless it's a crit. And that did a lot less damage than I was hoping. It's going to take at least another two more, and I'm going to run out of super potions at this rate. Why am I facing such a terrifying battle? Okay, it won't fit notice, that's fine. Quick attack, we've got the second attack off. We should be able to kill it in another hit. Oh no, oh no, 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 no. Okay, we're good, we're good. I think we're okay. Yes. Oh. That was terrifying. Yeah, move, Trixie. Let's have a gander at a wild encounter. Alright, here we go. Encounter for the Burnt Tower. Are you kidding me? <sighs> I'm going to catch this because the amount of times I've in come into a Rattata... that it's messed up potential encounters in other routes because of this thing. All because of that decision in episode one to kill the Rattata. It just keeps biting me. Just keeps showing up. Stop showing up. That constrict. Yeah, that should be enough. That was a crit. You're not gonna kill me even with a crit now, so let's throw a Pokeball and let's catch this. 
All right, what do you have for me? One, two, three, there we go. Ratata is caught. We're no longer gonna get dupes on this. No, we're, no sorry. We're no longer gonna get Ratata as encounters and killing roots. But you've been really annoying, so I'm going to call you annoying. Annoying was sent to Bill's PC. Good. Right then. Let's get our encounter west of Equity now. Let's be the last encounter. In fact, I am very close to the end timer. I have about a minute and a bit left. This is Species Clause because I've just got the Rattata. Which is fine. Okay, next effort. Magnemite. I'm okay with this. Another backup um, electric type. Um, don't want to switch. Hmm. Well, it depends how much damage quick attack does, to be honest. No, a, a couple of quick attacks, and then we can start throwing balls. We'll be fine. That's still another one. It's Sonic Boom. That could be a problem, but we'll be alright. Okay, we'll go for a Pokeball on the next turn. That's fine. And if... Oh, give over. Jesus, that's, that route's dead because it ran away. Let's try and get back in time to heal. I should just about make it, and then that will do. Yeah, so that is time. So thank you very much for watching. Uh, I've been your host, Super Saiyan Blue Lucario. Uh, don't forget to follow us on social media. Uh, leave us a like on Facebook, follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Links to all will be in the description box below and at the side of this video. Um, don't forget to leave a like, comment and subscribe for more content uploaded every Tuesday, Thursday and Sunday. And tune in for tomorrow for part 6 of the Pokemon Christmas Nuzlocke. But until next time, it's time for me to have a cup of tea.